Hi, good morning friends, Bo Kertov. I don't know if you can tell, but I am so excited because today is our last day when I have to do this with you. Be on a video for Circle Time on Monday, yay! We get to come back and we get to all be in person and we all get to be in school. So I'm so excited, I can't wait. I know you guys are so excited to be back in school. I know your moms and dads are so excited for you guys to go back to school. And Miss Rachel, Miss JB are so excited for you to come back to school. So I can't wait, but we're gonna do our last circle time today via YouTube and then we'll see you all on Monday. Yes, Miss Rachel, so excited. So we're gonna start with our months of the year. We're gonna do January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 12 months of the year. And let's see, there's 12 months. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We stopped before winter break for December, which was the number 12, the 12th month of the year. And we're starting with January, the first month of the year, the month of January. The Jewish month is Tevet. It's kind of high up there. Let me get my pointer, maybe a little easier. The Jewish month is Tevet. The month is January. We ended with the year 2020 and we started a new year, which is over here, which is 2021. The year in Israel is 5781. Alrighty, now we're gonna do, let's see, we'll put that away. We're gonna do our weather. Now, if you can see up here in my little window, you can barely see, but there's some sun shining through. I think it looks like, um, it looks like I see some clouds up there and some sun. So I would say, it's a partly cloudy day. It's partly sunny and partly cloudy. It's still a little chilly. It's probably cold to freezing, but a little bit more cold because the season is what? Do you remember? Winter. We're in the season of winter. So the weather is definitely going from cool, which it would be in fall, to colder, like freezing because it's winter. So it's definitely getting colder outside. So the temperature is definitely cold to freezing and we have a partly cloudy day today. Alrighty, and we're gonna do our days of the week song. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Let's see. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, it's Friday. Today is Friday. I almost went on to Saturday. I'm wishing the weekend away because I can't wait till Monday. Yay. But anyway, so today is Friday, which is what? Shabbat. I hoped that I got to see you. I got to see some of you on Shabbat this morning with Rabbi Michael. And tomorrow will be s -s Saturday. And then the next day will be Sunday, which are stay home days with mom and dad. So you won't see me, but then we'll see each other on Monday. Yay, Monday's a back to school day. So today is Friday, Friday Shabbat. All right, put these over here. We'll do our, our names. And then I have, we'll review what we talked about this week. And then I have a special book to read to Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Good morning to Alice. Good morning to Irma. Good morning to Arjun. Good morning to Ainsley. Good morning to Liam. Good morning to Gianna. Good morning to Olivia. Good morning to Casey. Good morning to Danielle. 
Good morning, Miss Rachel. Good morning to Eliza. Good morning to Chase. Good morning to Juno. Good morning, Miss JB. Good morning to Sienna. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? How are you, friends? Now, if you notice, I didn't say one person's name, and I wanna say that, I wanna tell our friends that you guys will definitely see her outside of school because I know a lot of you are still friends with her. But our Miss Aniston is not going to be in our class when we come back. She's going to a new school. So we're going to say good luck, Aniston. We love you so much. We're going to miss you. But I know a lot of our friends are going to see her outside of school. So I just wanted to let you know that our friend Aniston will be going to Montessori. And we wish her so much luck. And we love her so much. And we will get to see her outside of school. And we will send her pictures and all kinds of nice stuff from our class and I just want to let you know that we are going to have a new friend starting in our school on in February so we'll learn about her name when we come back to school so we have some some friends of ours that are we're really close old friends that are going to be leaving but that is okay because we're still going to see them and then we're going to get some new friends Alrighty, so my friends, this week we talked about counting so I hope you've been doing lots of counting walk around your house count so much stuff and I forgot Miss Rachel's so silly, I get so caught up in what we're doing that we forgot to count on our calendar. I had to pull out my numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you said eight, you're right. It's number eight. Today is Friday, number eight. Alrighty. Alrighty, so. My friends, we talked about counting this week, so I hope you're doing lots of counting. Count things today, count things around your house, try to write lots of numbers, try to do lots and lots of counting. We're gonna work on that when we come back. Shapes, we've been talking about lots of shapes. Triangles, circles, ovals, squares, but also three-dimensional shapes like spheres and cones and pyramids and cubes and cylinders. Try to look for these shapes around your house. Try to look for them outside when you're out for walks or going outside with mom and dad. Try to look for these things when you're driving in your car. They're so great to look for all these different shapes. We're gonna talk about that when we come back. Our, our theme when we come back is dinosaurs because we're gonna learn all about dinosaurs when we come back. So I'm so excited. So continue your counting, your adding and your subtracting. If you have five and you take away three, that equals two. Or if you have three, and three, that equals six. And you can do that with things that you can count, like Miss Rachel loves to use her erasers, but you can use anything that you have in your house to count, and you can count things all over. Um, so you can definitely do that, pasta, beans, whatever you wanna count. But we're gonna read a story today called, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? Now this is kind of a interesting book because it talks about making people feel good and when it says bucket it actually means your heart have you filled somebody's heart today have you made somebody feel good about themselves have you built them up and made and said nice things to them to make them feel so loved and so appreciated so that's what this means have you filled someone's bucket today have you filled your own bucket? Have you made yourself feel good? Have you filled your mommy's and daddy's buckets? Have you made them feel good? Have you made your brothers and sisters feel good? Let's see. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. So it's inside, it's our heart. You can't see it, but it's there, right? Everybody in the world carries an invisible bucket. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, your friends, your neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and your good feelings about yourself. So you wanna feel happy about yourself, you wanna feel confident, you wanna feel loved. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full. 
but you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. So when people say not nice things, it might make your bucket, bucket feel empty, right? Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket and other people need you to fill their buckets. So how do you fill a bucket? Do you remember? So you need people to fill your bucket, like your friends and your family to tell you nice things, but you need to fill other people's buckets. That means saying nice things and doing nice things for other people. You fill a bucket when you so, show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you show someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is loving, caring, and a person who says or does nice things that make other people feel special. When you make someone feel special, you're a bucket filler. So we all want to try to be a bucket filler, right? We all want to try to make people feel special. But you can also dip into someone else's bucket and start pouring somebody's bucket out. You can take away people's good feelings. When you make fun of someone or when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone, that's being a bucket emptier. A bucket, a bully, a bully, a person who's not nice to everyone can be a bucket emptier. A bucket emptier does or says mean things to make other people feel bad. You don't wanna do that, right? I know all my friends in our class are bucket fillers, and I know they're great at it. Many bucket emptiers have an empty bucket themselves. They feel really bad about themselves, so they wanna empty somebody else's bucket. So you should never fill your own bucket with somebody else's bucket. You wanna make sure you're filling up everyone's bucket so they can fill up yours. Guess what? When you fill up somebody else's bucket, they'll fill your bucket too. They'll fe you'll feel good when other people feel good, and that fills your bucket. It also makes other people like you and wanna be your friend and it'll make them wanna play with you and that can fill your bucket, right? So if you're not nice to somebody, that would make them not wanna be nice to you and you'll empty their bucket and your bucket. But if you're nice to someone, that'll make them feel good and then you'll feel good and they'll wanna to play together and it fills everybody's bucket. So that's great. All day long, we're either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets. But what can we say or do when that happens? You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can tell them why you love them. Your caring words will fill up your bucket. Mom and dad, I love you because you take such good care of me and you always do nice things for me. That makes your mom's and dad's buckets fill up, right? Watch for their smiles to light up on their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good indication or a good way to tell that your bucket is full because you're very happy. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember, everyone carries an invisible bucket. And, if, and think of what you can say or do to fill their bucket up. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say, hi, to the bus driver. He has a bucket and that will fill his bucket. You can invite the new kid at school to play with you. That will make him feel good, and that will fill his bucket and your bucket. You can write a thank you card, a note to your teacher. You can tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. Those are great ways to fill up your buckets. Your teacher's bucket, your bucket, your grandpa's bucket, your bucket again. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. Every time you fill up somebody else's bucket, you're also filling your own bucket. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost any money, and it doesn't take much time. And remember, like I said, every time you fill up your own bucket, I mean, every time you fill up someone else's bucket, you're filling up your own bucket. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood a better place to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel great. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, 
I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I do something to fill someone's bucket? Was I a good friend today? Did I do something nice to fill someone's bucket and make them feel good? Yes, I did. And that's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. The end. So always remember every day, we're gonna be bucket fillers. When we come back to school, we're gonna practice and we're gonna practice filling everyone's buckets and making everyone feel wonderful. Have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. I miss you so much. I love you all and I'll see you. Bye.